Hello HP Touchpad users, great news. Today I'm going to show you how to activate WebOS. If you still want to use WebOS, you can't do the normal activation through the tablet online because there's no more servers. That WebOS is now defunct, it's no longer reported in any way, shape, or form. So either do this procedure or run JC Sullen's Touchpad Toolbox and completely remove WebOS from the tablet. Uh, you can look for the links for that in the description. Today I'm going to show you how to activate it. First off, you'll need to download my WebOS activation package, download and extract this zip file. You can put it right onto your desktop like I'm doing right now. And once you got it, open that up. Inside will be all the files required. Check out the README for the full instructions. Now first off, you'll need to have Java installed on your computer. If you don't have Java installed, go to the link and install it. It's free and you gotta have it. Next up, you'll need to have the Novacom software installed on your computer. Now that's in the package, so look for that. There's two ways to install it. The universal installer is the easiest way, but there's also the manual way if needed. Look in your package. Here's the universal Novacom installer. Run that. We'll need to have Java installed for that as well. Click install. It should automatically detect and install everything needed. Now we're done with that. Go back to the guide. First, step three, we'll need to put the tablet into WebOS recovery mode. We'll need to hold down the volume up button, press and hold down on the volume up button, then press the power button turning the tablet on. When you see the large USB symbol on the screen, plug in your USB cable to your PC. Now we're ready to run the device tool 2 from our computer. Now we'll need to open a command prompt to do that. There's a few different options here. If you're running Windows, there's instructions for opening a command prompt in the folder where we have everything. And there's also a batch file, but some people's antiviruses might not like that sort of thing. Or you may just want to do it like this. So let's show you how to do it a couple different ways. Go to the folder, hold down shift, right click, open command window here. Now this works in Windows. And once you've got that going, now we simply need to copy and paste. Here's the code right here. Now we can copy and then paste it into our command prompt or just type the whole thing, whatever you're more comfortable doing. There we go. And once we've got it in there, just press enter. Wait patiently for it to complete. Once you see devices ready, you can then go to your tablet and it will boot up right into WebOS, all activated and ready to go. Additionally, there's also the WebOS batch file here. You can double click that and then hit enter and it will do that all automatically for you. And I've already done it. And you can also do the old school manner of just navigating your way there. Then over on your tablet, everything's ready to go. Here's mine all activated and ready to use WebOS. Please like the video and subscribe to see the latest updates with the HP touchpad. Thanks for watching everybody.